In this video, we will learn how to track emails to determine their origin. This can also help us identify whether a received email is spoofed or spam. Whether you're investigating phishing attempts, tracing the origin of a suspicious email, understanding email headers is a crucial skill. In this video, we will break down how to extract key details like sender IP addresses, mail server hops, and timestamps using different tools. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to analyze email headers effectively and uncover valuable insights about an email's journey. First, let us understand the actual flow of an email. There are multiple entities involved during an email exchange. An email originates from Mail User Agent, which is a client that sends an email like Outlook, Gmail, or Browser. Then is the Mail Submission Agent, which is the server that received the email after client has submitted it from a Mail User Agent. Then there is Mail Transfer Agent, which is the SMTP relay server responsible to map email from a sender to the recipient. Next, we have the email exchange server that is responsible for receiving messages intended for a particular domain that are sent and transferred from MTA to be delivered to recipients. Finally, there is the mail delivery agent, which is responsible for providing the recipient with the sent email after successful authentication. Moreover, there are a number of headers in an email which we need to understand. We can divide the email header into four sections. Email, headers, and metadata. Email, X header. Headers added by hops. Email, authentication. In the email headers, we have the date and time when the email is sent from email address of the sender. Return path, which contains the sender's address to return errors and reply messages. The recipient's email address. And the message ID, which is a unique identifier assigned to the email message. It helps in tracking and referencing specific emails. We also have the subject line of the message. The Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions version is used to encode multimedia content within emails. Content Type, which specifies the type of email content such as text, HTML, attachment, etc. Content Transfer Encoding defines the encoding method used to convert binary data into ASCII text for email transmission. Then comes the email X headers. These are custom headers that are added to the email header by the mailbox providers. Xmailer refers to the email client that was used to send the email as MUA. X originating IP contains the IP address of the device that sent the email. Then are the headers added by MSA, MTA, and MDA. These headers contain critical information such as the server's host name, IP address, and timestamp for email processing. These are added by all intermediate nodes and servers. We also have information about email authentication protocols, which include critical three records, SPF, DKIM, and DMARC. These are used to detect email spoofing attempts. To view the complete header of an email in Gmail, open an email, click on the top right three dots, and select Open Original. Gmail will open a separate view where it parses the info and then provides the raw email header and message. Similarly in Outlook, click on View Details from the Options menu and you will get the complete header information. Now, let us see how we can interpret the email header. We get the complete list of IP addresses and server locations. You can use tools like ipinfo.io 
and Talos Reputation Center to check the IP's reputation and geolocation. There can be multiple uses for this information. For example, if an email claims to be from a company in the US, but the IP points to a different country, this could indicate a spoofing attempt. We also get the authentication results for SPF, DKIM, and DMARC. Authentication results can indicate whether the sender's domain passed or failed SPF, DKIM, and DMARC checks. A failed SPF or DKIM check often suggests that the email could be spoofed, which is a common tactic in phishing attempts. We can also identify from reply to and return path discrepancies. We can compare these fields to see if they match. If the reply to address differs significantly from the from address, it may indicate phishing. This can reveal attempts to redirect replies to a different email address controlled by a malicious actor. There are a number of tools with us that can help us in an email investigation. For this tutorial, we will be using web-based utilities. Now, let us see the demonstration. So, we have two of the email analyzing tools open. The first thing we need is to get the original header of the email we want to track. Let us first see how to get the original header in Gmail. Open the email you want to track. Click on the option, Show Original. Our email will open in a new window in a raw format. The first thing we can see is that the email passed SPF, DKM, and DMARC checks. It is the first sign that email is not spam or some phishing attempt. We have the original header under it. You can click on the option Copy to Clipboard to copy the header. Now paste in the header on both sites and select to analyze the headers. We can see the results now. We can see the from address and message ID. We see all the hops that are involved. We can see the IP address of the client that originated the email. Similarly, we can see that email was first received on a Postfix email server. We can assume that this server may be self-hosted and we can see its IP address as well. Next, we have headers which list down the receiver's email address. We also have some authentication headers. If everything is correct here, it means it was sent by a legitimate sender. Now let us see the other website. We see similar information. One other thing to note is the reply to and from email addresses. If there is a huge difference in these addresses, it indicates something is actually wrong. We also have the time the email was originated and the time zone and the message ID which is used to identify an email. Next, we have the originating IP address and the country where the email was sent. We also have the IPs of intermediaries. It also gives us a spam score of the email. Next, we have the detailed report of intermediate hops. In the X header, we can also see the client information which was used to send the email, which is a PHP emailer in this case. Similarly, we can track an email from our Outlook account as well. Open an email in Outlook. Click on the three dots on the right side of the email. Click on View and select the option to view the message source. Now, copy the raw email and paste it in our email analyzers and process them.
and we can see similar information like the IP address of the originator, the intermediatory hops, and the authentication results. So, in this manner, we can analyze email headers and track the email originator and verify if an email is spoofed or spam.